Today we're going to demonstrate a changeover on the Mach 2 5.6 combo gutter machine from 5 inch to 6 inch. Hi, I'm Katie from New Tech Machinery and Thad's going to help me demonstrate a changeover from 5 inch to 6 inch on the Mach 2 5.6 combo gutter machine. Before beginning any work on the machine, please make sure that it's unplugged from the power source. Next, locate your tool pouch. The tool pouch is found just inside the hinged cover on the back side of the machine. Inside, you'll find all the tools necessary for completing the changeover. To ensure your safety before handling a shear, make sure the transport locking pin is in place. Step 1. Remove the 6 inch shear from its holder on the side of the machine and set it aside. Step 2. Remove the covers. The covers are retained by quarter turn fasteners that look like flathead screws. Turn each fastener a quarter turn counterclockwise. Remove all of the top covers and the side cover located at the main controls. Step 3. Remove the 5 inch shear. The shear is held in place by 4 bolts, one at each corner. Remove these 4 bolts. Use caution when removing the last two bolts as the shear is heavy. Set the shear aside. Step 4. Move the bead assembly. Located just behind the shear, the bead assembly has two bolts that must be loosened. Then the bead can be moved to line up with the scribed marks. Tighten the bolts. Step 5. Remove the back bell roller. Just below the bead assembly is the back bell roller. Remove one screw in the middle and set the assembly aside. Its mount is marked with positions for 5 inch and 6 inch. Step 6. Move the back guide rod. The back guide rod is the gold bar running the length of the machine on the back side. It's held in place by 5 bolts. Loosen these bolts, then slide the rod outward to the ends of the slots, then retighten the bolts. Step 7. Move the skate rollers. The skate rollers are located inside and below the back guide rod. Move them by pulling the plunger handle and sliding the roller outward until it clicks in place. Do this for all 13 rollers. Step 8. Remove and reinstall exit top backside roller. Located between the bead assembly and the back bell roller, this roller is held by one flathead allen screw that's painted red. Remove the screw using your T-handle wrench. Carefully remove the roller, flip it over, and reinstall it with the red screw. Don't over tighten the red screw. Step 9. Reinstall the back bell roller. Reinstall the back bell roller in the 6 inch location. Push outward with your finger as you tighten the bolt. Step 10. Move the entry guides and auxiliary guide posts. Located where you feed material into the machine, the entry guides have four black collars that serve as stops. Do not move these black collars. Using the T-handle wrench, loosen the Allen screw on the guide clamp and move the guides to the outside stops, then tighten the screw. On the auxiliary guide posts, loosen the screw to slide the left and right posts outboard to the 6 inch position until both guide posts are in contact with the stops in the slot. Tighten the screws. Step 11. Move the face guide rod. The face guide rod is located on the face side of the machine between the entry guide and the middle of the unit. Loosen one bolt at the end closest to the middle of the machine and slide the rod to the top of the slot, then tighten the bolt. Step 12. Move the face assembly stations. On the face side of the machine, in the middle, is the face assembly. Pull the plunger and lift the roller assembly until the plunger clicks in place. Do this for all three stations. Step 13. Move the box assembly. The box assembly is found just behind the side cover that was removed earlier. It's held in place by four bolts near the white stickers. Loosen the bolts, then move the box up and out following the L-shaped slots. Tighten the bolts. Step 14. Remove the inside box roller assembly. This assembly is held by two red Allen screws. Remove these screws while supporting the roller assembly. Slide the assembly out and set it aside. Step 15. Move the outside box rollers. There are six rollers held in place by plungers located under the box. Pull the plunger, allowing the roller to move to the middle position. Push up on the shaft to make sure the plunger is engaged. Do this for all six rollers. Step 16. Install the 6-inch inside roller assembly. The 6-inch roller bar is located on top of the blue reducer box and is held by one thumb screw. 
The stamped number will face outward. Install the roller bar with the red Allen screws removed earlier. Don't over tighten the red screws. Step 17. Store the 5 inch inside box roller bar assembly. Store the 5 inch inside roller bar assembly on the blue reducer box and secure with the thumb screw. Step 18. Replace the covers. Replace the covers and secure by turning the fasteners a quarter turn clockwise. Step 19. Move the reel rack to the 6 inch position. If equipped with reels, start by moving the fixed half reel. The fixed half can be identified by the divots in the shaft. Loosen the Allen screws on the fixed half reel and move the half reel to the outside divot marked 6 inches, then tighten the Allen screws. Next, loosen the four bolts that attach the reel rack and slide the assembly to the face side of the machine. Then retighten the bolts. Secure the turnstile by pushing in the clamp bar, then tightening the hand knob and wing nut. Step 20. Move the cradle to the 6 inch position. If equipped with a cradle, remove the hitch pin, loosen two bolts on the back side of the roller assembly, and slide the gold bracket to the outside position. Then tighten the bolts. Repeat for the other side and reinstall the hitch pins. Step 21. Store the 5 inch shear. Store the 5 inch shear on the side of the machine. Step 22. Install the 6 inch shear. Install the 6 inch shear using the 4 bolts removed earlier, one on each corner. Remember to store your tool pouch inside the machine for future use. Thanks for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Please refer to your manual if you still need machine operation assistance or reach out to New Tech Machinery for any further questions.